Benvenuto and welcome to the Copy for Christ channel. I'm Brother G and I will be hosting y'all for this piece of work. Uncovering Noah's nakedness, the mystery of what Noah's nakedness was. And happy Valentine's Day from Jesus. Now you might be wondering why would Brother G actually be saying that? Because you should know the Lord's stance on these corporate pagan holidays. Uh, watch the Yuletide greeting sermon if uh, you're unfamiliar with it. But there's a reason why I say that, because this message was one that was uh, in the background to be preached at some point, no real urgency, but then the Lord literally said, gee, you got to preach this now. He really put an urgency on my heart, and I didn't even understand it at first. And then I realized, wow, today is Valentine's Day. Now, if you don't know, the origins of Valentine's Day, Cupid and all of that, uh, is, comes from Nimrod. Nimrod really is who, uh, what they fashioned Cupid off of. And Nimrod was a uh, descendant of Noah. He was a descendant specifically of Noah's son, uh, Ham, whose uh, later children were Canaan, who was part of a curse that Noah put on his children for an act, that, uh, a nasty act, that vile act that he committed. Um, you know, so the purpose of this message for, for you guys is to recognize, well, it's twofold. One is to recognize generational curses that may be in your life. They could have come from uh, sexual trauma as, as a youngster. Uh, we see how things like that can turn into people later on developing mental illnesses like transformers you know, uh, being a sodomite, things like that. These are mental illnesses. These are demonic oppressions. These are generational curses that get brought in through an open door, usually of sexual immorality in the family. And we're going to see that with Noah's, in Noah's case, you know, people think, oh, why would Noah curse his son for seeing his pee-pee? Well, it wasn't because he saw his dad's pee-pee. That's not why he cursed him. So I'm going to bring light to why that was. But also, this whole Valentine's Day comes from Nimrod and Semiramis, who was his mother. And he married and had sex with his mother. And that's where Valentine's Day origins come from. So you really shouldn't be celebrating them. All, all online, on Facebook, and stuff like that, um, I've been receiving, you know, Happy Valentine's Day on Family Chain things and I just you know don't respond to it because sometimes you got to pick your battles you don't want to fight every single battle people that know better they know better but yet they still get into this stuff it leaves an open door you can't do that okay so in this message like I said we're gonna see what Noah's nakedness was we're gonna uncover what the mystery of it really was and uh, I'll just come out and say it, it was because his son Ham had sex with his mother, okay? Yeah, think about that, he banged his mother. That's what Nimrod did. Nimrod was a descendant from Noah's line, well really we all are, we all come from Japheth, Shem, or Ham, you know. But specifically he cursed Ham for doing this. And let's get into the Word of God real quick, because when God wants to make a point of something, He'll say it twice, okay? Now, we're going to read in Leviticus and see where this comes from. Now, uh, historically speaking, Leviticus is well after the events of Noah. So, it started with Noah, though, okay? It started with Noah. Uh, and then, you know, it even came down in uh, Abram's line with his uh, nephew Lot. Uh, Lot's daughters, they slept with him because they thought, well, he's the only man, he might be the only man left on earth because Sodom and Gomorrah and the other cities got destroyed. So they slept with their father and one of the uh, uh, nations that was birthed of that was Moab and Moab becomes China and China becomes um, Magog. So you see what I'm saying? Like th 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 this is bad stuff. So this is why, we're going to see also why God had such stringent 
punishments for such disgusting acts. Okay? So let's go to Leviticus 20 and 11 and see what thus says the Lord about this. Okay? Because make no mistake about it, Noah's son Ham slept with his mother. Okay? That's what Noah's nakedness was. Now, if you don't believe me, let's look at Leviticus 20 and 11. And thus says the Lord, And the man that lieth with his father's wife hath uncovered his father's nakedness. Both of them shall surely be put to death. Their blood shall be upon them. Now, we know that Noah did not kill his son, Ham, for doing that. He did something worse. He cursed him. Therefore, we see the power of life and death in the tongue. He cursed his son and his entire bloodline after that. That's why the Canaanites were so bad and so many other tribes were born of them that were evil and they had to be dealt with. Okay? So, uh, just for more reference here, before we get into the story of Noah, let's turn now to Leviticus uh, 18, verses 6 through 18, we're going to read. And this, this is just, you know, backing up this stuff here. None of you shall approach to any that is near to, of kin to him, to uncover their nakedness. I am the Lord. The nakedness of thy father, or the nakedness of thy mother, shalt thou not uncover. She is thy mother. Thou shalt not uncover her nakedness. The nakedness of thy father's wife shalt thou not uncover. It is thy father's nakedness. So you see here that it's not seeing one's parents' pee-pee, okay? I mean, it, it, it's, it's having sex with one's own parents. This is disgusting stuff. Okay, verse 10. The nakedness of thy son's daughter. Or the of the or of the daughter's daughter, of your daughter's daughter, your granddaughter, even their nakedness thou shalt not uncover, for theirs is thine own nakedness. The nakedness of thy father's wife's daughter, begotten of thy father, she is thy sister, thou shalt not uncover her nakedness. Thou shalt not uncover the nakedness of thy father's sister, she is thy father's near kinswoman. Thou shalt not uncover the nakedness of thy mother's sister. For she is thy mother's near kinswoman. Thou shalt not uncover the nakedness of thy father's brother. Thou shalt not approach to his wife. She is thine aunt. Thou shalt not uncover the nakedness of thy daughter-in-law. She is thy son's wife. Thou shalt not uncover her nakedness. Thou shalt not uncover the nakedness of thy, of thy brother's wife. It is thy brother's nakedness. Thou shalt not uncover the nakedness of a woman and her daughter, neither shalt thou take her son's daughter or her daughter's daughter to uncover her nakedness, for they are her near kinswoman. It is wickedness. Neither shalt thou take a wife to her sister to vex her, to uncover her nakedness beside the other in her lifetime. So we see here that this is not good to have sexual relations with any one of your kin, okay? I can't believe I have to say this, but this is Valentine's Day, and that's really at the bottom of it what it is about. It is birthed in Nimrod and Semiramis. Nimrod is Cupid, okay? Cupid is stupid, all right? Stop celebrating these holidays. But most importantly, the generational curses, if you are somebody that is dealing with stuff like this, I'm not making light of it. Reach out, okay? We will deal with it, with the Lord Jesus Christ. He will deal with it. He will deliver you, okay? You have to speak life into yourself in Jesus' name. He can break anything, any bond you are in. He can and will break it. Okay, so uh, let's get into the story now of what happened with Noah, because Noah, this is literally, they just landed uh, the ark because the waters receded. So Noah planted some grapes and he made wine, okay? And he partied a little bit. He had the right to. I mean, they had 40 days, 40 nights on the ark with all them animals and everything. I mean, that was crazy. I mean, <laughs> can't even imagine how crazy that must have been. So he deserved to have a little bit of fun, okay? Let's be real about this. But he got drunk, but he shouldn't have got drunk. So he left himself open in a way, 
okay? And let's just read the story here, all right? In Jesus' name, Genesis 9, 20 through 27. And Noah began to be a husbandman, and he planted a vineyard. A husbandman is basically like a gardener taking care of the earth. Okay, and he drank of the, of the wine and was drunken, and he was uncovered within his tent. And Ham, the father of Canaan, saw the nakedness of his father and told his two brethren without. So he basically went and bragged to his brother, Shem and Japheth, yeah, just bang mom. <laughs> what a nasty freak. All right, uh, verse 23. And Shem and Japheth took a garment and laid it upon both their shoulders and went backward and covered the nakedness of their father. And their faces were backward and they saw not their father's nakedness. Okay, now in that sense, yes, they did not see his pee-pee. That's what it's talking about in verse 3 there. Uh, I'm sorry, 23. Because they uh, respected their father. Their father literally was a king. I mean, Noah was a king of sorts. He, he uh, replanted uh, the, the population, okay? So it was a uh, respect thing not to literally see his nakedness and his shame because he was drunk and he had passed out. So they covered their father with his garment, but their brother Ham banged them up. Okay. Or, you know, some people think that maybe he did something funny with, with Noah, that maybe he did something with his dad. Who knows? I mean, maybe he did both. You don't know. We don't know. All right, let's continue with this. Verse 24, and Noah awoke from his wine and knew what his youngest son had done unto him. And he said, Cursed be Canaan, a servant of servants shall he be unto his brethren. And he said, Blessed be the Lord God of Shem, and Canaan shall be his servant. God shall enlarge Japheth, and he shall dwell in the tents of Shem, and Canaan shall be his servant. Okay, so basically Shem gets the highest blessing and respect from his father Noah. Eber later came out of Shem, and Eber was father to the Hebrews, the Hebrews, okay? Uh, so we see that, and then Japheth shall serve Shem. Other nations were born of Japheth and serve Shem because Shem was the father of the Hebrews, okay? And everybody should have been following them to be strangers among them, to be brought into the congregation of the Lord. And uh, Israel was supposed to be a uh, uh, showing the rest of the people how to serve God and honor God and worship. But Canaan was cursed. Canaan was the son of Ham, the one who committed this crime. So we see in Leviticus how death was called for. That was the judgment call that needed to be done to anybody that would violate and sleep with their mother or their sister or we went through the list of siblings, in-laws too. That is a no-no. Death was the, was, was the price to pay. But Noah cursed his son instead. And thus, it was a fate worse than death because Canaan begot the land of the, the nation of Canaanites, which was Baal worship, Ashtaroth worship, Milcom worship, Baal worship. I mean, so many different gods, demonic gods, because they came in through that one act of having sex with his mother and possibly diddling his father. Okay? Um, I, I'm going to leave it at that. That's what it is. It's saying a long message. This is a, a, a short piece of work here. Um, stay strong in the Lord. Don't celebrate Valentine's Day or any of these corporate pagan holidays. Don't it, break the generational curses. You have the power within you to. If you don't know how to do the deliverance, if you're not strong with it, or if you're not comfortable with it, reach out. Okay, I'll put, I'll put the uh, email for you to reach out to and we can deal with it and get you delivered in Jesus' name. All right, love y'all. God bless. Stay in the Lord. See you next time. Shalom.